Now let's solve this together. It says x squared is equal to root of 4 squared. We're going to find the values of x in this equation, okay? Now, first things first, you can see um, x squared is equal to root of 4 squared, okay? From here, we can say let's square both sides, all right? So if you square both sides, we have that x raised to the power 2 squared is equal to root of 4 squared, okay? Squared like this, okay? Now, if you look closely here, we're going to have x raised to the power 2 squared, the same thing as x raised to the power 4. So we come equal to, square will cancel square root, so we are left with what? 4 squared, okay? Now, 4 squared can be expressed to be equal to, so we have x raised to the power 4 to be equal to, now 4 squared can be written as 2 to the power of 4, okay? Because 4 squared is equal to 2 squared squared, alright? And when you have this, you multiply the power, so 2 times 2 is 4, okay? Now we have this, so we can say that x raised to the power 4 minus 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 0, okay? Now at this point, you can say let's refactorize the, let's factorize this, so we have, instead of this, we're going to have x raised to the power 4, so we're going to go to x squared, squared, minus 2 squared, okay, squared, to be equal to 0. So we all have different of 2 squared, you can express it as x, you can inside the bracket, so it's x squared minus 2 squared multiplied by x squared plus 2 squared. So now we equal to 0. Okay? Right, moving on from here. We can say the product of 2 is equal to 0. When the product of 2 is equal to 0, it's either the first one is equal to 0 or the second one is equal to 0. So it's either we now have x squared minus 2 squared to be equal to 0. Again, this is the difference of 2 squared. So we can say that x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? From here, we now have that x is equal to plus or minus 2. Alright? Now, also, we can, we can say that x squared plus 2 squared is equal to 0. This is sum of 2 squared, it's not difference of 2 squared now. For sum of 2 squared, the law says that when we have a squared plus b squared, it's equal to a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi. Okay? So, for this place, we would have um, where i is root of minus 1. Okay? But here, we now have that. Um, this will become, so you have x plus 2i multiplied by x minus 2i to be equal to 0. Okay, you now have that x is equal to plus or minus 2i, okay? Or plus or minus 2 from the other answer you got, okay? So, these are the two answers for x in this question. Thanks for watching. What's going on guys? It's watching your edits in this video. As you can see, about 99% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos. As this helps to push my videos out to more viewers out there. The more you subscribe, the more viewers can see my videos, the more we grow in this community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.